Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya and Chancellor of Kibabi University. Members of the Kibabi University community, distinguished graduates, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Chancellor, sir, it is a great honor to welcome you, the graduates, and our invited guests to our fourth graduation ceremony. This fourth graduation ceremony is a culmination of four years of hard, hard work of our professors, sleepless nights by our students, intellectual competition among ourselves and our peers, and a very expensive investment by the parents and guardians. It is therefore my pleasure to congratulate the students, thank the parents, recognize the professors, and finally appreciate the council members for their individual and collective contribution towards the attainment of this great feat. At this point, Chancellor Sir, allow me to invite Mr. Kyoko, the SGS Certification Manager, to present to you the ISO 9001-2015 certificate that was awarded to Kibabi University after fulfilling the requirements for external audit and qualification for recertification. Your Chancellor, sir, you will then, you will after that present the certificate to the Chairman of Council. Can we applause, please? The Chairman will in turn present it to the DVC in charge of academic and student affairs. Your Excellency, sir, the university has since award of charter in 2015 graduated a total of 5,517 students distributed in terms of 3,124 male representing 56% and 2,393 female graduates accounting for 43.4% this year, Your Excellency, we are glad to present 1,863 graduates. Out of these, 10 graduates, among them three women, will be conferred with doctorate degrees. One of the women has a PhD in mathematics. We also are presenting 30, 30 graduates for confirmment of master's degrees. Out of these 30, 16 are women. Your Excellency, a total of 1,704 will be conferred with bachelor's degrees. 219 and 31 will be awarded diploma and certificates respectively. In this endeavor, your Excellency, we have received support from many quarters. I wish to very, very quickly mention some of this. One is uh, His Excellency, the Governor of Bungoma County, for his exemplary support. The Speaker of Senate, who has supported us all along. Senator Moses Wetangula, Honorable Wamunyinyi Oron MP, uh, Chancellors of other universities and fellow VCs, one of them, uh, Professor Mushai from Karatina University is here with us. And then, of course, Bungoma County Assembly. We have partnered and worked very well with them. Your Chancellor, I wish the graduates success in their future endeavors. Allow me, sir to invite the Chairman of Council, Dr. Ernest Mwangi Njoroge, to make some brief remarks.
your, your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya and Chancellor of Kibabi University. Members of the Kibabi University community, distinguished graduates, ladies and gentlemen, Your Excellency Sir, on behalf of Kibabi University Council, allow me to welcome you, Your Excellency, and all other guests to this most auspicious occasion. For the graduates, accept my sincere congratulations. After enduring several years of intense learning, you have reached this day. Congratulations once again. Although only four years since the university was awarded a charter, Kibabi University was ex as expected has produced graduates who have already become a force to reckon with in the competitive job market in Kenya and abroad. This is because of our endeavor to recruit quality academic staff, invest in requisite infrastructure, and embrace technology intended to provide knowledge and surface that meet the expectations and aspirations of our clients. Professor Magoha, sir. Uh, Your Excellency, President of the Republic of Kenya and the Commander-in-Chief of our Defense Forces, Uhuru Mwigai Kenyatta, my colleague, Tawijin uh, Omalwa, Leader of the, the Speaker of the Senate, uh, Senator Wetangula, all other Bungoma leaders that are available here, national leaders, uh, the faculty, students, graduates, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Uh, mine is going to be very short, Your Excellency, on behalf of the Ministry of Education, which is a delegated duty from you. I wish to thank you for finding time out of your very busy schedule uh, to come and award degrees to the fourth graduation ceremony of Kibabi University. This indeed is a confirmation that you attach a lot of premium to the role of university education in this country, especially in providing necessary research and academic output that is related to the Big Four agenda. Your Excellency, allow me to say just one or two things about this university. In my candid opinion, this is a good university, but I would like to challenge them, not to go the way the other universities have gone, where you copycat everything else that another university is doing. This is an agricultural area, you want to give us uh, food. I would like to challenge the leaders of this region, because I'm not a politician, so I can speak. That you should think of right-sizing and rationalizing the sugar industry. Instead of having so many of them and asking for money from all over the place. Your Excellency, remember when you took me to, to Mauritius? What I found out there was that there were originally 21 industries, and they right-sized to three and you saw what happened there. Otherwise, I wish to assure you, Your Excellency, today that uh, in line with your instructions to us, the Ministry of Education is in the process of instituting fundamental reforms to the uh, education sector. And I'm very happy this morning to hear that this university has no satellite campuses. Uh, may the council continue in that manner. I wish to inform you that some of the universities have already taken adequate steps to rationalize their programs and to redefine their research portfolios. And for this university, I would ask them to do research in environmental areas and agricultural areas. For example, you should do research with regard to finding sugar that can mature in less than one year. Shortly, I will request for an opportunity, Your Excellency, to brief you on the long-term reform trajectory that we are proposing as per your instructions. Your Excellency, today being your day, may I very kindly and with humility ask you to come and address the people. Thank you. Governor Wangamati of Bungoma and all elected leaders, the Kebabi University Council, 
the Vice Chancellor Kibabi University, and other Vice Chancellors present. Our most important people today who are our graduates, all invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. Let me say it gives me great pleasure to join you today as we preside over the fourth graduation ceremony of Kibabi University. We are here today to celebrate the academic achievements of these young men and women who have dedicated themselves and their energies, as well as their time, to transform their lives and the future and the future of our country. We know quite well that most of you have had to deny yourselves of some pleasures and luxurious activities that are tempting at a youthful age in order to sacrifice and gain an education. And I therefore congratulate you all, all you graduates, for this tremendous achievement. You have proven that your four years in academic investment at this university were not in vain. Pongera sana, pongezi. Well done. I would also wish to appreciate all the parents, guardians, sponsors, the professors and lecturers of this institution, as well as the entire team of administration who have made tremendous sacrifice in order to see you through your university education. To you also, I salute you for the nurturing and support that you have given your students. Indeed, as a nation, we have made significant strides in uplifting our standard of living. We have endeavored to improve access to clean water, electricity connection, doing tarmac roads, just to mention but a few examples. But however, we still have challenges to contend with, the largest being the unemployment problem amongst our young people. To deal with these challenges, we have adopted a comprehensive social economic development blueprint that we refer to as our Vision 2030, and as part of this blueprint, we are currently focusing on four key areas comprising food security and nutrition, affordable housing, promotion of manufacturer as a key driver for job creation, as well as universal health care. These are indeed transformative pillars, but to achieve them we need men and women with the requisite knowledge and skills and also men and women who are ready to think differently. I have no doubt that the young men and women who are graduating today have been equipped with the requisite knowledge, skills, competencies, and set of values that are required to contribute to our nation's development. What progressive education, like the kind you have received here at Kibabi University does, is that it helps transform our thinking so that we can fully exploit the economic potential of our nation. And I am therefore pleased to be here presiding over your graduation because I know that you have received an education that will serve the kind of transformation this country is currently undertaking and cultivate ideas that this country needs in line with global as well as technological advancements. We need new ideas, ladies and gentlemen, if we are to work, walk this journey successfully. Indeed, as a distinguished scholar once said, we cannot solve problems using the same thinking that created those problems. Ladies and gentlemen, higher education is a key factor in a nation's effort to develop a highly skilled workforce with new thinking orientation that positions it 
to compete in the global economy. In a developing nation like ours, an effective formal higher education system is essential for national development. And it is in appreciation of this fact that the demand for higher education in Kenya has rapidly increased over the last few decades. And to meet this demand, my administration has increased investment in institutions of higher learning and research with the aim of fostering growth of the Kenyan economy. However, there are still major skill shortages in many sectors critical to our country's economic prosperity. And this calls for a deeper re-examination as well as reforms in our entire education system, including our universities, as was mentioned by the minister. To survive in the 21st century, we must come up with a robust educational curricula that is designed to equip and enable the learners to develop and own intellectual capacities relevant to the world today. And this is why we have embarked on broad sector-wide reforms meant to streamline the operations of the local university sector. Indeed, today, I urge all universities to cooperate with the Ministry of Education in undertaking these reforms so as to ensure the institutions are able to produce high quality graduates and better research outputs. All, universi all universities are therefore required to comply with the higher standards of training that have been set up by the Ministry through the Commission for University Education. Universities must also audit themselves to ensure that they get rid of the rampant duplication of degree programs, as well as rationalize their staffing levels and satellite campuses, and also to professionalize their financial management structures and incorporate good corporate governance principles in the management of their operations. Ladies and gentlemen, universities must take their place in the ongoing efforts to steady our economic development. And I therefore urge all universities to double their investment in research and innovation that provide practical solutions to our economic as well as our social challenges. While at the same time informing our policy discourse. I believe that there is no doubt that the implementation of our government's Big Four agenda will accelerate and sustain inclusive growth, create opportunities for productive jobs, reduce poverty and income inequality, and provide a better future for all Kenyans. These intentions can only be successfully achieved if the planned programs are implemented in good time, guided by the principles of efficiency, effective, and good governance. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, I reiterate again my government's commitment to quality education. And in this regard, I call upon all stakeholders to be fully committed to the development of our young people as we roll out the new competency-based curriculum. I ask our universities and other institutions of higher learning, as well as our mid-level colleges, to take the lead in transforming our young people. The government will continue to offer an enabling policy environment and at the same time continue to support infrastructural growth and academic staff development in our educational institutions 
in order to ensure that our young people succeed in life. This we commit because we appreciate this fact that the future of Kenya lies on the success of our young people. For you, our graduates today, I encourage you to apply the wealth of knowledge that you have acquired to make a positive impact in our motherland and indeed the world. This world that you are about to join values virtues as manifested through courage, resilience, truthfulness, honor, and justice. And you must aim at being excellent in whatever you do. I challenge you today to portray the right attitude as you move to the world. I challenge you today to dare the status quo in academia, entrepreneurship, and even in politics. My rallying call to you at all times is please conduct yourselves with the highest standards of moral and ethical grounding. Once again, I say congratulations and wish each and every one of you God's blessings and every success as you embark on your future lives. As I finish, when I was here last, I offered two million shillings to be put into an endowment fund to support needy universities at this university. I am disappointed because at that time we had agreed that especially the alumni of this great university would also contribute something small also in order to support future students. Lakini jameni hata ndururu moja hamjatoa. Pesa ni hile 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 nilibakisha hapa jameni. So today, I add another 5 million shillings to that endowment fund. However, to Kiruri to Pate ni pale pale ilikuwa, mimi ni mefika mwisho sasa nini sasa. Lakini mukiongeza na mimi ni taongeza. Tutembea safari pamoja, especially you graduates. Musisahau pahali mmetoka. Mutu wakipata chake kidogo, arudishia saidie wenzake ambao badu wako kwa hii chuo. And that way we grow the country and develop the country together. I think the second thing I also wanted to say, since this is my opportunity, I know I'm talking to, in Bungoma, I'm also talking to Kenya. This morning I received notification from the chairman who has uh, been handling the BBI report akaniambia ya kwamba wamemaliza na wangependa kuja wanilete and I have told them that they can bring it on Tuesday and I assure you that as soon as I receive it mimi nitasoma lakini pia at the same time nitapatia all Kenyans waweze waipate waisome my only prayer my only prayer especially to the political class kwa sababu mimi najua wananchi hawana shida there are many to some this is an opportunity to engage in meaningful and peaceful discourse we don't want to divide the country only a fool will say that there are no issues in this country that do not require addressing. So let us address them as adults, as civilized human beings. Let us appreciate that we may have divergent views, but our objective is to make our motherland better, to improve it. Hey, why you have a haja ya matusi, 
kama wale wanasema hawaitaki na hata hawajui nini iko ndani sasa hiyo jameni tunasomesha watu ndio wasome <laughs> au ni namna gani yes so please let us just take time to go through it together and to come out with good things that can make our country even better more united that can make our institutions more inclusive that can make our country better managed through better governance structures sasa shida iko wapi jamani tutembee pamoja wenzangu tujenge taifa letu ndio tupate baraka ya Mwenyezi Mungu kwa hayo machache na mengi nasema kwenu nyinyi nyote muende kutoka leo muingie dunia muone tabu ya dunia vile nilivyo huko <laughs> najua ukiwa shule because you are just learning the theory you think ah angalia ule mjinga mimi mimi kama ni mimi ningefanya namna hii namna hii sasa ni nafasi yenu tutaona yetu yetu ni kufanya everything that we can to make sure that we support you to succeed and i have said and as i have said please never fear to challenge if you fear to challenge you will never be anything in this world never fear to challenge challenge your elders challenge your superiors challenge your politicians challenge them in order for them to wake up and to also see that you too have the potential and have ideas but do it so respectfully sio na mawe na mdomo ndio umesoma ndio utumie mdomo sio mkono eh si namna hiyo Mungu awabariki na awalinde asante Thank you so much your excellency With your permission sir allow me to invite the deputy vice chancellor professor Solomon Shabairo academics and students affairs to call upon the deans of facilities faculties and schools or to present their candidates for the award of certificate diplomas and confirmation of the degrees of Kibabi University professor Solomon Mr. Chancellor Sir, may I call upon deans of faculties and schools to present candidates for confirmation of the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in the following order. Dean Faculty of Science, Dean School of Computing and Informatics, Dean Faculty of Education and Social Sciences. Mr. Chancellor Sir, I have the honor to present the following two candidates who in the 2018-2019 academic year satisfied the Board of Examiners. Rukaria Lydia Kanunu, Kananu. This is title, Codes designs and graphs obtained from some projective symplectic group. Supervisors, Dr. Lucy Chikamai and Professor Ireri Kamuti. Your Excellency, sir, I have the honor to present the following four candidates who, in the 2018-2019 academic year, satisfied the Board of Examiners of the School of Computing and Informatics and the Senate for confirmation of the following degree. Doctor of Philosophy in Information Technology, Barasa Samuel Wafla. Thesis title, Network Performance Metrics for Transition from IPv4 to IPv6 Networks. Supervisors, Professor Samuel Mbugwa and Professor Simon Karume. Two, Etene Yona. Thesis title, 
modeling cloud computing environment towards accessible information technology integration in primary school education. Supervisors, Dr. Anselimo Ikoa Peters and Professor Franklin Wagoba. Three, Mutochi Vincent Wafula. Thesis title, Modeling a Secure Security Architecture on Virtualized Environments for Small and Medium Enterprises in Kenya. Supervisors, Professor Samuel Mbugwa and Dr. Shem Bandu Angolo. Four, Owoche Patrick Oduo. This is title, Online Hotel Branding Based on the Dialectic Principles of Internet Communication. Supervisors, Dr. Anselimo Ikoa Peters and Professor Samuel Bugwa. Mr. Chancellor Sir, I have the honor to present the following four candidates who in the year in the 2018-2019 academic year satisfy the Board of Examiners of Faculty of Education and Social Sciences and the Senate for the confirmation of the following degrees. Doctor of Philosophy in Curriculum and Instruction, Katiambo Dokas. This is title. Effectiveness of Classroom Interaction Patterns on Kenyan Second Students' Learning Outcomes in Mathematics. Supervisors, Professor Stanley N. Soso and Dr. Duncan Wasike. Second, we have Simiu Pius Chililia. This is title, Integration of Information Communication Technology Skills in the Classroom Pedagogical Practices in Public Primary Schools in Bungoma County. Kenya. Supervisors, Professor Stanley N. Msoso, Dr. Edwin Masibo. Doctor of Philosophy in Religion, Machisi Margaret Nanjala. This is title, Conflict and Unity on Growth and Development of the Pentecostal Churches. A case of the Pentecostal Evangelistic Fellowship of Africa, Pefa Church in Bungoma County, Kenya. Supervisors, Dr. Rispa N. Wepuhulu and Professor Stanley N. Msoso. <laughs> Doctor of Philosophy in Educational Planning and Management, Ouma Martin Onyango. This is titled Financing of Secondary Education and Participation of Students in Sierra County, Kenya. Supervisors, Professor Julius K. Mayo and Dr. Judah M. Ndiku. May the candidates come one by one to be kept and uh, walk back and stand for the uh, confirmation of their degrees.
I admit you to the degree of Doctor of Philosophy and by my authority and that of the entire university give power to read and to do all that appertains to this degree. Congratulations. of faculties and schools to present candidates for confirmation of master's degrees, bachelor's degrees, and award of postgraduate diploma, diplomas, and certificates in the following order. Dean Faculty of Science, Dean School of Business and Economics, Dean School of Computing and Informatics, and Dean Faculty of Education and Social Sciences. Uh, Mr. Chancellor, sir, I have the honor to present the following three candidates who in the 2018-2019 academic year satisfied the Board of Examiners of the Faculty of Science and the Senate for the confirmation of the following master's degree. Master of Science in Pure Mathematics, Maina Lillian Janet, Kariuki Yvonne Wakuthi, Master of Science in Applied Mathematics, Bachelor of Science in Mathematics, First Class Honors, Kalasa Peter Daniel, Muema Fidelis Mutunga. Second Class Honors, Upper Division, Serial Number 3 to 24. Second Class Honors, Lower Division, Serial Number 25 to 54. Pass, Serial Number 55. Bachelor of Science in Bio Second Class Honors Upper Division, Serial Number 1 to 2. Second Class Honors Lower Division, Serial Number 3 to 14. Pass, Serial Number 15. Please be seated. Jesgo Felix Kipto, Master of Science in Human Resource Management. Mukewa Ebi Lukoye, Muhebi Helen Nafula, Ndombi Alice Nagila. Please be seated. Marketing option. Second class honors, upper division, serial number one to two. Second class honors, lower division, serial number three to four. Dokas Machuma. Credit one, serial number three to four. Credit two, Serial number five to six, please be seated. 
Science in Information Technology, Andai Margaret Afwande, Simiu Jeremiah. Second class honors law division 0302 to 605. Pass 606 to 609. Battle of Education Science, first class honors. Keep coach, Misoi Victor. Kutoiwa. First class honors, Shikuku Sheila. Second class honors upper division. I admit you to the respective degrees of Kibabi University, for which you have been educated, trained, examined, and qualified. And by my authority, and that of the entire university, give power to read and to do all that appertains to these degrees. Congratulations. May the recipients of bachelor's degrees stand for the confirmment of the respective degrees. I admit you to the respective degrees of Kibabi University, for which you have been educated, trained, examined, and qualified, and by my authority and that of the entire university, give power to read and to do all that appertains to these degrees. Congratulations, Hongera. May the recipient of postgraduate diploma stand for the award of the diploma. I award you the postgraduate diploma of Kibabi University. Congratulations. May all the recipients of diplomas and certificates stand for the award of respective diplomas and certificates. I award you the respective diplomas of Kibabi University. Congratulations. Allow me, Your Excellency, to invite uh, the Vice Chancellor to announce the end of the ceremony and to dissolve the congregation. Karibu VC. In accordance with the Kibadi University Charter 2015, Section 9 1, and by the powers conferred upon me in the statutes, I declare this congregation and ceremony closed and the fourth convocation dissolved. Thank you very much. Waheshma naomba sote tusimame kwa wimbo wa taifa. Thank you so much. I request that we remain standing as the procession leaves the graduation square in reverse order, led by the mass bearer.
the mess bearer, in reverse order. Let's appreciate His Excellency as he takes his leave, ladies and gentlemen. Tumpongeza kwa makofi mwishmua raisa na pondoka baada ya kutuongoza katika shere ya leo ya kufuzu kwa mahafala wetu makale ya nne chuo chetu chakibabi. Asante ni sana mwenyezi mungu wabarikini.